It involves countless trials and setbacks. But finally, a prototype was found. Sedlacek discovered that the turbine shaft, the stator, had to be of a certain shape. And between the wall of the stator and the rotor, marked here in red, there could only be a small gap. Only then did the water flowing through trigger a movement in the rotor that was very hard to stop. Rolling fluid turbine is the name Sedlacek has given to his invention. He's patented it in Europe and the US. The reason the turbine works is that the rotor rolls inside the stator. That's why the principle is called the rolling principle. The rotor rolls along the edge of the stator and simultaneously rotates counter to the direction of roll, around its own axis. So, water flows through the turbine shaft and through a narrow opening, passing the rotor. Below, it swirls up. The flow of the water sets the rotor in motion. It rolls in a circle inside the stator and simultaneously counter-rotates around its own axis. The two movements enable energy to be produced via a generator.